Hi guys, Steph here from The Novelty Corner and I am back with a really quick DIY Christmas card tutorial. Um, it is really overcast outside so I have got the lamp on so I apologise for any shadowing but it was just really dark without the light. Um, so if it gets really bad I'll, I'll switch it off. But um, yeah, so if you follow me on Instagram um, during the week you might have seen me post these Christmas cards that I made. Um, they're really, really simple, and I had a couple of people ask for me to do a tutorial on them. So I'm going to do it all really quickly. Um, I'll go through the supplies, and yeah, I'm not a really huge complicated card maker. Um, it, to be honest, it kind of freaks me out. Um, but you know, we'll. I do simple things. So first of all, you'll need a card blank card, you can either make one out of cardstock or you can buy a pack. Um, I don't buy really <laughs> expensive card packs. This one was from Kmart. It was probably $5 for a pack of 50 blank cards and envelopes. Um, so they're probably not the greatest quality, but um, you know they work for my purposes. And they're already folded and things like that. I don't have to do any measuring. Uh, you will need some washi tape. Oh, I've got stamps it there. Don't need that. Um, so you'll need washi, you'll need some paint. Um, I use some silk screens from Studio Calico. Uh, this set came with four silk screens. Um, so one that does, where did I put them? The star pattern, which is the one we're going to use. Uh, the others I use to make some Christmas tags. There's a Merry Christmas and No Peeking and a Christmas tree. Um, and for the longest time I had no idea how to use these. So these are the designs. No Peeking, Merry Christmas, Christmas tree. Oops. Oh dear, where have I put the star? Oh, it's stuck to the back. I did throw some other ones in there. Um, that I had lying around and they're just stuck together and the star um, and then you'll need a squeegee or an old credit card or in this case an old price line subs uh, subscription card um, I've also got a baby wipe on hand just to do a really quick clean in between doing all the bits and pieces some scissors and some glue um, so my gold paint is just a really cheap tube from my local art supply store. It's metallic gold. Um, the washi tape is from an old Studio Calico collection. Um, but yeah, um, so those of you who haven't used silk screens before, they're really easy to use. Um, they're basically like a stencil. Um, they're sticky on one side and you just place your design where you want it to go um, and you know I so said I'm not a complicated card maker I'm not I don't need perfection on these um, so I'm not too worried if it's off-center or not I try to do my best but life's too short to be um, too picky just pop a little bit of paint down and you don't need a huge amount like I used I made about how many cards do I make? I made 10 cards the first time and I used a little bit more than that and it does you know two or three cards um, so with your card you basically just smoosh the paint around trying not to get it off the silk screen which you know I do occasionally and I, I don't flip out it's handmade handmade things are not always perfect and you know to pick up the extra paint and just kind of turn your card to pick up more I find it easier to control if I'm scraping it towards me other people might find it easier to scrape it away from them um, I'm just going to pick up some of the excess so there's not a huge amount left I probably used a good amount um, then you just Peel up the silk screen. And there you have your star design. Now I'm just going to pop this here and I'm going to give it a really quick wipe and then I'm going to wash it at the end of the video. It 
just because I don't want it to get ruined. So, okay. So that's the silk screening part done. Now, normally I'd let it dry. Um, I haven't had a chance to do any any more of these since I made my first lot, and they've all they're all finished. Um, so I'm going to do this and hopefully try not to smudge the paint. So I'm going to cut a little bit of washi that's just a little bit wider than the star design. Sorry, that was just my scissors hitting my glass of tea. I love this washi tape because it is, you know, actual glitter. Um, the only thing is it's got paper on the back so it doesn't stick. So I have to have a little bit of washi there to make sure it doesn't completely unravel. And I'm just going to cut some flag points on either side to make it like a little banner. Oh, and I remember the one thing I didn't show you was the wood veneers. I'm going to get those in just a sec. I was thinking that and then I <laughs> got distracted. Okay, so the card opens this way. Um, and <laughs> I've just realised I put this, I did put the silk screen on the wrong way this time, so I had the banners going with the um, downward shape facing down. But that's okay, nothing wrong with this. Variety is the spice of life, or some such saying. Okay, so then you just want to place your washi tape roughly in the center. Look at that, I did it without smudging. Okay, where are my wood veneers? Where have they gone? Okay, so this is my set of wood veneers. Oops, Steph, don't put them on the paint. Um, these are some Christmas trees that I picked up at uh, my local ride art store. They have three different sizes. I'm just going to grab one of the biggest ones. Um, the little ones I will use in my in my project life, but these big ones um, are really, frankly, quite big. I'm not I'm not going to use them, so I'm just going to glue this down on the back. So I'm just going to take my glue. I have a love hate relationship with this glue. Sometimes it just explodes all everywhere on me. So we'll see how we go. Oh. It's behaving today. So this is just some Helma 450 quick dry adhesive, but you could use tape, um, double-sided tape adhesive on a runner or something like that. I just find that this one works really well. I'm just going to place it, and that's it. That's the finished card. So really quick and easy, used a whole bunch of supplies I had on hand. I didn't go out and buy anything specifically for this. Um, I bought the silk screens to do some the Christmas tags that I showed you. Um, and then I saw the star design and thought that it makes a really great background. It's uh, cheap, easy, uh, quick. Quick being the <laughs> probably the best adjective in that group for me. Um, but yes, so... That's everything. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll pop a link to all the supplies where I can find them um, down below, or I'll try and source some alternatives uh, in case I can't find them. And I think that's about everything. Um, I will have a coordinating blog post up soon after the video goes up so that you can see some close-up photos of the cards and the supplies. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!